And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. How's it going to go, Stuart? Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, the fact of the matter is the home side lead the league in goals for the best attack in the league statistically. Well, their attacking play has been brilliant. They're always looking to pass it forward. The wide players get good crosses into the box, and the forwards have taken their chances. These fans will be hoping for more of the same today. Of 11 for Benfica. Nicolas Otamendi starts with Jan Vertonghen at the back, and it's two strikers up front who'll look to provide the goal scoring threat. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, they're playing with a 5 2 3, as we can see it here, but I think at times we'll see one of the centre backs stepping forward into midfield just to make sure they don't get outnumbered in that central area. And so the match is underway. Good looking sequence. And it's played into the centre. But it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. Pickel. Well, they have the ball once more. Well, they could run onto it here. Brilliant, crisp and clean tackle. Can they survive? Plenty of players waiting in the middle. The delivery towards the back post. Simple for the keeper. Excellent vision. Now the attack fizzled out. Grimaldo. It's with Weigel. Mete. Julian Weigel. Effective challenge. We're getting the ball forward. Mete. Well, can they open up the defence here? Taking care of business defensively here. Rafa. Simple catch, really. Ivo Rodriguez, can they take advantage? It might be on for them. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Vertonghen. It's with Meite. Nunez. Now what can they do from here? But nothing comes of it. And attempting the through ball. Superb stop.
Charles Pickel. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, there you have it. Benfica have controlled most of the possession. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Julian Weigel. It's with Rafa. Rafa. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Well, they've given him too much space. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. Now the delivery. Well, able to survive that attacking push. So nothing to choose between the teams at half-time as the referee blows his whistle. Stuart, your impressions of our hosts? Well, after giving their attacking play the big build-up, they've let us down. They haven't quite been as fluid, the strikers haven't got the better of their markers, and they've just missed a couple of chances. But I'm still sure they'll score goals in the second half. Into the second half then, and these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Darwin Nunez. And showing fine vision. Well, that is how to run at defenders and crossed in the direction of the back post. Routine, really. A creative look about this. Could be dangerous. High quality defending. And well, they're not standing off their opponents in the slightest. A long way out. Well, in actual fact, it ended up being a simple playing for the keeper. Rafa. Will it happen for them? Rafa. The cross is on. They're looking towards the back post. Not all that convincing defensively. Rafa. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Short corner favourite. Across, lacking guile and accuracy. Chance to cross. 
Fed over towards the back post. Well, when it left the boot, I thought it might have a chance of fooling the keeper, but it didn't. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Well timed tackle. Well, let's see if something comes of this. And there it is, a chance. And there it is. The deadlock has been broken. We wondered if a goal would arrive. Well, now it has. And will there be a response now? Well, we can see it again now, and it all starts with the pass over the top. It takes out so many defenders. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And that is going to be a free kick. And yellow it is. A booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Inside the final 15 minutes. And the block by Otamendi. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Late drama here. And no wonder they're celebrating. Remarkable. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Well, what a final few minutes we have here. And the fans are certainly playing their part. But can they take one of these chances that come their way and win this game? Only five minutes left for play. And tension galore with the teams locked together. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. And it took a touch on the way through. So a corner here. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, no danger now. A very effective challenge put in. And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Well, just listen to this noise. How could you not be inspired by that? Well, they still have designs on the win. Space and time for the cross. But nicely executed defensively. Well, the two sides still locked together. And a set piece, a corner, can make all the difference.
Let's see about the delivery. Able to deal with the threat. Heriberto Tavares. And options in the centre. And there's the whistle. They cannot be separated after 90 minutes.